you know what kind of bothers me? Is how when you're in the car with two old people and they argue about nothing. About nothing. For an hour. When something ends, you let it go. It's over with. The more you bitch and complain and, oh, you turned the wrong way. Oh, 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 oh. Just repeating the same topic over and over with no actual conclusion. It's really annoying. And I'm really tired. You know what I... You realized, I already knew about frequency. But all you skeptics, try to prove this point I'm about to make wrong. Just try. If music, music gives off a frequency and it affects your brain in a way, how does the sound that comes out of your mouth not affect your brain and other people's brains around you? That is why once I start my parking lot business and make money from it, I'm moving straight, straight up north into the mountains where I can be around trees. I already know what property I picked out. And the price was reduced recently because it's almost in the middle of nowhere. Oh no. But actually, what's wrong with that? That sounds like heaven for me. When my grandma and grandpa left the car, and I was just sitting there with the windows closed, it was the most peaceful thing I've experienced all day long. Because when there's silence, complete, absolute silence, and I mean not even hearing the wind blow, you are able to think. And it's only your frequency. But in our society, we're called selfish if we only think about ourselves. Here's the thing. Everyone only thinks about themselves. Some people, though, actually are able and not afraid to say what they're thinking. When you're in a car or in a house with a bunch of people who fight, argue, and just ramble on about other people's lives and just talk gossip, your brain is going to get a migraine because there, there are so many frequencies from each person coming out of their mouths and you got to be a total dumb shit to think that your voice doesn't give off a frequency. You gotta be the dumbest person on the planet. If music, which is a sound, gives off frequency, then your voice, which is a sound, gives off frequency. When you talk in a low tone voice like this, it lowers or even stops your fight or flight sensation. If you scream or talk in a high tone voice, your fight or flight will go up. It just feels so peaceful being in here. My grandma made a passive aggressive comment in the car and said, why do you want to move to a remote area? You pretty much stay in your room all the time. Instead of using my energy, and when I say energy, people just get all skeptical. When I let out a frequency, when I waste a frequency to respond to that, when I waste my brain power to think about what the person said that was rude, then I'm wasting my useful energy. And the more you don't talk, 
the more your frequency will get stronger. That's not a joke. We don't manifest things as fast because, oh, let me tell you the passive aggressive thing my grandma said. I'm tired, so forgive me if I repeat things. She, like I said, like I said, she said, you pretty much live in your room already, and I just, this is all I'm going to say, I'm not going to ramble on about it. I do that so I can be in a quiet room like I am now. Because when I'm in a quiet room, I can think with my own brain. Even if you're outside and there are birds quacking, there's wind blowing, there's just stuff. When you're in absolute nature, like a forest, there will be animal noises, but it will be absolute peacefulness. Absolute. That is why people go hiking. That is why people meditate. I just learned while I was in the car how to block people's voices out, which is a very handy tool when you're around people who aren't really saying anything useful. They're talking about other people behind their backs. They're, they're just talking. You only have to bring up a subject one time. You only have to say a point one time. Anything besides that, you're wasting your frequency. You're wasting the energy stored up in your body from not speaking. That is why kids and adults with low functioning autism are so incredibly smart and intelligent but their creative side is dead because they store up all this all this energy and that's why the analytical the left side of the brain is more strong on them because they're storing up energy, but they're not using it. They're too afraid to use it. So they'll respond with, okay, or thanks, or all right. They won't converse. Those are all shut off words to shut the other person up and make them go away. So when you store up all that energy you want auti low functioning autistic people want a way to release the energy so the way they do is they learn analytically some may be creative but there is a scale of autism and people like me who have adhd are the ones who notice everything who point everything out who say everything and pretty much the people with bipolar are just the ones who aren't afraid to say what they're thinking. And then when someone who's a dipshit will disagree with them or say something that isn't valid, they'll get mad. And so they're considered bipolar. When really, they're just using logic and being disliked for that and being called crazy or being called whatever. They're just saying how they feel and the truth. But you always get someone who will constantly want to be right. And when you say that, they'll say, I don't always want to be right. That's always the I'm proving you wrong response. Because when they say I'm not always right, it makes them look better and makes them feel better. I'm sorry, I have to say this, but me and my grandpa, my step-grandpa, are both very calm. Unless I get passionate about what I want to talk about, and I get loud. If I want to say something, 
and no one listens, and then I get mad. Duh. It's just a human reaction. If my grandmother, who is not calm, who is very... She isn't loud, but she's more of aggressive, passive-aggressive, than calm. You can either be naturally calm, like me, or you can be fake calm, where you don't want to talk about any of your internal problems, and you act perfect and calm all the time. It's fake. It isn't real. Then you get mad at the people who are able to speak their mind, and you call them either weird, crazy, because you are internally, not externally, jealous that they're able to speak their mind and be themselves. And if my grandma ever saw this, she'd be like, that's not true. Instantly, or she'd say, no. But if she saw this, then she would see me saying no, and then she'd try to be right, so she wouldn't say no. It's kind of a prove you wrong kind of thing, and it's pointless. Be yourself. Don't be someone you're not. I want to get back to the main point of this video so I can end it on a high note. Depending on what we say, depending on what our tone of voice is what will affect our reality and people around us. And being alone in a quiet area, there is nothing wrong with that. The people around you who are brainwashed Those people are the ones who are going to, quote-unquote, pick on you, annoy you, bug the shit out of you. It's your choice. You make the choice. They don't make your choices. You do. So if you want to relax, relax. If you want to hide in your own mind, go for it. Would you rather hear someone talk about another person or talk about the same subject over and over and over again and you waste your energy talking to them about something you don't care about go for it but I choose and it took me 20, 26, uh, 24 years to I'm 25 but it took me I only realized this in 2016 I really did And you know what? I'm proud of that. You should be too. Bye.